Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to dive deep into the single uh, template for WordPress. Now, this is a very complex template and it will encompass a few different items. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for updates to new videos. And let's dive right in. You'll see that the single, similar to our index, what it allows is for segmented areas. And this is important uh, because our content is dynamic, so we do not know the size. Let's actually take a look at the design. So you'll see that we have our header section, we have a meta, we have a post navigation for the top, we have our thumbnail, we have a fix, and we have our entries. Now, our fix above our entries just gives a little gap. Oh, looks like there's an extra space down here. Okay, so what we can do is we can actually move the nav bottom down a little. It looks like it's a little bit off. So let's just correct that. There we go. That'll actually render slightly better in the output. Now, taking a look at each section, within our single header, what we have, and these are recommendations by WordPress uh, for creating your theme, you'll see that we have code tags to denote the title and the date posted. You notice that we're using both static text and dynamic PHP. With code tag, you can generate any content that you'd like, including using native WordPress options. Now, something very important is that you'll see the size of the text elements is that we try to give it the largest size possible to encompass for long title names. Now under the header section what we have is the meta. The meta is typical to encompass the tags and the categories. Now how you want to display this is completely up to you. What we've done is uh, we're simply calling the native WordPress methods for the category and the tags but you can generate the content using your own custom styles if you'd like. Next we have our navigation for our posts and you can include navigation both either at the top and the bottom or in any position that you'd like but the navigation will remain the same. What we have are two links and you'll note that with each section we have a background which is very important. You always want to include a background in your sections even if it's just white. Uh, the reason is because that will generate the space that is required and the size uh, to note when actually stacking the content. So along with our links what we have is we have our next post link and we also have a previous post link and these are both layer tags that can be applied to text layers to generate uh, the actual default WordPress elements for linking but using the content that you denoted. The next section that we have is our thumbnail and this will be dependent on if your post has a thumbnail. If it doesn't uh, then this section will not render and you can see what we've done is we've added a little option for uh, the border but you can basically design it in any way you'd like and we have a layer tag to display the thumbnail itself. We don't need to go into the bottom nav, it's virtually the same as the top nav. Uh, what we're going to look at now are the entries. Now this area is very important because this is what renders your content for your page. Now with your entries what we have is a sidebar and we have our loop and we'll see how this uh, plays out in the end. With our loop what we have are if comments are open, if there is an author, and we have our entry itself. So let's take a look at each. So we have our entry and you'll see that what we have with our entry is that if there are comments there is a pop-up link. These are both empty images or shapes. You can use either to denote the content. So this is a layer tag for the content and we have a layer tag for the comments pop-up link. Now this is conditional if uh, you basically have comments. If you don't have it enabled, then this will not display. Now, after the entries, we have our author content. Our author content, this basically renders if you allow uh, the author information to render on your website. You can actually denote the author avatar. And we have code information uh, to get basically the author meta, meta and also the description link. So there's a bunch of information that you can include for the author additionally beyond what we've done here and it's completely up to you with your design. Now with comments, uh, 
you can basically create your own comments template but we're loading the default wordpress template we'll cover that in another video how to create your own uh, comments template as well as your own dynamic sidebar and like i just said we're jumping to get the sidebar we're using the default wordpress sidebar here so if we take a look at let's go to hello world you'll see here uh, we have our title the date posted we have our categories we don't have any tags for this we have our navigation this is the oldest entry we have our contents we have our comment section we have our navigation and we also have our sidebar now again this is all denoted from the design had there been an, a thumbnail it would have displayed the thumbnail information let's take a look so in essence this is hidden uh, simply because we don't have that information available and we have our content and our sidebar had we enabled the author information we would have seen it below as well so these are all settings that uh, can be manipulated within WordPress to achieve uh, any design structure that you'd like and let's take a look at uh, another one that was just done 